So far we have been using very simple layouts. We have been using just one layout to build our UIs. But Android gives you enough flexibility to create much complex uh, layouts. And uh, one thing that you can do is you can nest layouts within one another. So in the previous examples, we were just experimenting with a single uh, layout. But in this example, I'm going to show you how to nest uh, multiple layouts within one another. So first, uh, in this example, I'm going to use a scroll view and a linear layout inside the relative layout. You can see our uh, current layout only has a relative layout as the root. Now let's go ahead and add a linear layout inside. I'm going to drag a linear layout. And inside this layout, I'm going to drag a couple of buttons. One. I'm going to drag another button. And the linear layout is currently oriented vertically. I'm going to change it to horizontal orientation. Let's do it. So this is currently horizontal. And I'm going to give the layout an ID, which I'm going to call as buttons. So we have a linear layout called as buttons and it has two buttons inside button 1 and button 2 let's go ahead and drag this uh, linear layout to the bottom of the screen select it and we'll drag this to the bottom of the screen yes now it's at the bottom and you can see the layout is currently wrapping its content I want to make it to fill the parent or match the parent layout completely occupies the parent to its width and the buttons let's assign weights to these buttons so I'm going to give a weight of 1 to both the buttons so that they occupy equal space now you can see our relative layout has a nested linear layout inside and again now we're going to nest another layout inside this uh, relative layout which is going to be a scroll view Let's go to composite and here we have a scroll view let me go ahead and drag it when you drag in a new scroll view it comes with a linear layout we don't need this here so I'm going to delete it right click and delete now I'm going to drag in a text view inside this scroll view go to form widgets and medium text so we have a text view and we're going to give this some content. I have a lorem ipsum text in the string resources already. I'm going to use that. You can see uh, the text view has a lot of content. Therefore, uh, we have placed it with, uh, within a scroll view so that it, it can scroll. And we want this scroll view to be to occupy only the area above the buttons. So that's it. Now you can see we have a relative layout. And within the relative layout, we have a linear layout in which we have two more buttons. And I also have a scroll view inside which we have a, a text view that has too much text content. We are done with this. So let's go ahead and run this application on the emulator and see how it looks like. Switch to the emulator. And you can see the text view is scrolling down because we have nested it inside a scroll view. And we have a pretty good uh, layout which is a little bit complex so we have a relative layout and within which we have two view groups one is the linear layout the other one is the scroll view and you can nest any number of uh, layouts but I would say to keep it keep it to the minimum for performance reasons so that's the idea this is how you nest a layout within one another and if you have any questions please feel free to ask Thank you.